Hi everyone, this is Mike Schwartz. I'm the founder and CEO of Glue, and I just wanted to record a, a quick video about how to register an OpenID Connect client. So um, OpenID Connect um, defines um, an API for automatically registering your client. Um, so it also provides a, a API for discovery, so you can find out where to register your client. Um, you can automate this in, in your application, but um, if you just have one application and one OpenID provider, this might be overkill. So Glue has a, has a, a test site that allows you to manually register your client. Um, the URL for this is c.glue.org slash oxauthrp. Um, you see it up here. And um, just to start the process, um, so I mentioned, let's put in the host name of our, of our IDP in this case, idp.glue.org. Um, so this would be um, what provides the, the discovery API. So this sends a, a get request according to the spec to dot well-known slash open ID configuration. And that returns um, a JSON object that contains the endpoints where my client should register and also the endpoint for where I would request user information or user claims. And um, the discovery request also tells you what kind of encryption is supported and information about um, what's, what scopes are available, what information is available. OK, so now that I know the URI where I'm supposed to register, um, it's actually auto-populated in this, this next step, um, which, which covers dynamic client registration. So let me um, register a um, redirect URI. This would be the um, redirect back to your home application. I'll se select all three response types. I'll take authorization code. I'll say it's a web application. Provide my contact information. Test app, March 17th. Um, I'll just take this default. This is where you'd provide the logo for your application. Um, and um, we'll take the basic authentication method, the simplest, and um, we'll leave this stuff blank. And um, this stuff we can we can update later. Um, I suggest that when you first um, um, when you try your first authentication in OpenID Connect, that you use the API key in secret and um, and add the certificates later. Okay, we'll take 300 seconds as our, our default authentication time every five minutes, and let's submit the request. Okay, now here's the response, or here's the request rather, and here's the response. So what we want to do, here's our client credentials. So let's just take that, oops, selected too much. Let's take that and um, copy it. And we'll start up Notepad. And we'll just paste this into Notepad. Um, so here's our client ID. Here's our client secret. And um, I suggest you save these as something like, you know, client creds glue dot, dot JSON something like that. Um, anyway, and, and that's pretty much it there. You have your client ID and secret and, and you can move on to the next step. Okay, thanks everyone.